Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do one of my favorite makeup looks, the English Rose look. Now this isn't something that a lot of makeup artists do on me, but it is one of my favorite looks. I don't exactly shout English Rose when you look at me, but when I am doing my own makeup, I really, really, really love doing it to myself. So I already have my base on and um, if you're wondering what my base is, Go uh, back to my channel and just look at the video No Makeup Makeup Look. I will pop the No Makeup Makeup video in the box below. I also want to just remind you guys that I do um, pop in like what I'm wearing, the makeup I'm using, and you can just find it right online um, should you be interested. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? So, my base is already on, but I am going to just fill in my brows. My big inspiration when I am looking at the English Rose look tends to be Kira Knightley, I think. Um, there's obviously so many actresses who do this look beautifully. Emma Watson, Felicity Jones, um, Rosamund Pike. There's so many different variations on this particular image. I really love looks that just feel inspired by open gardens and English roses and just open space and um, just something like walking into a garden outside of a little English cottage with a little thatched roof and everything. Sort of the inspiration I kind of go for. I am going to start with my Tom Ford palette in nude, uh, 03 Nude Dip. This is one of my favorites. It has such beautiful colors in it. And I'm going to take this kind of pinky color on the top left corner. When I'm facing this way, it's top left. And I'm going to pop that on my eyes. I'm going to take this more mocha gray color that's also very shimmery and I'm going to sort of pop that just above it, sort of in the crease a little bit. And then right on the corner just to give it a little bit more depth within that color, within that really brilliant shimmer. And there you go. Now switching over to my Charlotte Tilbury La Dolce Vita, bring a little Italy into the look. Um, I am going to take the enhanced color and sweep it up towards my brows. There you go. And it's really not going to be very much on the eyes. I think you want to look fresh and sort of innocent. So, going back to the Tom Ford, there is a deeper chocolate brown. And I'm taking a very thin, small applicator. And I'm gonna sort of pencil that in like liner to smudge it into my lash line. You don't want like a very defined look here. You want something very nice and natural looking and then bringing it under the eye. Now when you do this, you do want to be a bit careful because it's only natural that um, as you do this, a little bit of powder may come off on your cheeks. It's always good to keep a concealer handy for such things or a Q-tip with makeup remover. Built just a little bit of a smudgy liner really natural and I would say your eyes are starting to now look pretty glowy and really open and bright and um, young and sort of innocent and everything we sort of think of when we think of a beautiful little English rose. Now you want to get some serious pink involved so I am going with my CoverGirl Rose Silk blush and I'm popping that onto my apples
and I am going to take it and dust it on my lips. I'm gonna go so crazy that we end up having like big clown sheets, but we definitely want to bring pink, light, um, very rosy cheeks to it. Something young and fresh and just very happy and sort of innocently romantic. To me, this is um, kind of a perfect wedding day look even, where you sort of, you look like yourself, you feel like yourself, but um, it's just enhancing that natural beauty. My hair is a little crazy today, sorry. It's just, it's doing its own thing. It's in its own world. It doesn't want to work. Now, I would say for the final step, we are going to do some pink lips. Now, this is by CoverGirl. It's 205 Smoky Intense. And I am just going to use it as a lip liner. Just because we're doing a natural, easy English rose look does not mean that we can't just enhance our natural features. And then I'm going to take Dior in blush. Look at this, I love this color so much that it's basically gone. And fill it right in. Blend it. There you go. I would say that you are ready to have tea in your English garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a quick and easy tutorial to get that perfect English rose look. And I hope you join me next time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like me and the rest of my videos, feel free to subscribe. In fact, I encourage you to subscribe.